Act 1. A bohemian duke swears an oath of celibacy, turns the rule of the city over to his tyrannical brother, and sets sail for the golden age of Greece. While rounding the heel of Italy, the duke's ship is caught in a terrible tempest that casts him up on a desert island, along with his sweet, innocent, and clueless young daughter. Oh, oh mother! I'm so lonely and pubescent on this island. I'm so sad <laughs> and frisky. Rawr. Oh, precious daughter. Watch out for symbols of colonial oppression lurking in the caves, waiting for virgins. Oh, okay, bye. Meanwhile, the Duke's long lost son, a handsome, dashing, clueless young soldier, is also shipwrecked, coincidentally on the very same island. How can I survive on this island without any funds? I know, I must look for a Jew. Behold, a convenient Judeo-Italian stereotype. What's the matter, you, eh? You need a payday loan, buddy? The wicked Jew tricks the merchant into putting down his brains as collateral on the loan. Such a deal. Shake. Act two. Fearing ravishment, the clueless young princess disguises herself as a boy and becomes a page to a handsome, dashing, clueless young soldier. You there, boy! Yes? <clears throat> Um, yes? You shall woo the Lady Via Olivia for me, for she is shrewish and I am sick with love. Um, I too feel phlegmy down there, for while I may not, uh, speak it aloud, I do love thee, though I am a boy. <clears throat> I swing it not that way. Deliver the letter to Via Olivia. Go hence. Whence? Hide thee hither from thence to hence. Act 3. The beautiful, virginal, and clueless young princess arrives in Mandrag to woo the Lady V. Olivia. It is I, the bitchy shrew V. Olivia. Come hither. Whither? From hither to hither. And if you play nice, I'll show you my zither. Oh, Act 4. <laughs> On the twelfth night of midsummer, a puckish sprite leads all the lovers deep into a forest and squeezes the aphroditic juice of the hermaphroditic flower in their eyes, while the queen of the fairies seduces a rude mechanical who has the head of an ass. <gasps> yeah, but I have the ass of a man and I'm hung like a donkey. Woo. Act 5. In the ensuing bisexual animalistic orgy, the princess and man clothes get ripped off. Revealing a smoking bod and female genitalia. The merchant recognizes his sister. My <gasps> nearly identical twin sister! Oh, my long lost and strangely attractive brother! The shrew realizes that she's bi curious. Oh, brave new world! The dashing young soldier decides he actually prefers bottom and thereby hangs a sweet tail. The Jew exits, pursued by a bear. Oi, a bear! And they all get married in the state of Massachusetts and go out to dinner. Now, give us your hands if we be friends, because all is well that finally ends. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.